Good morning, happy Monday. We are we are off to, um, I'm gonna have a procedure done today where it will involve probably a four or five inch needle being jammed into my back, but I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of procedures and health issues, here at the Blended Nest, we like to, um, you know, be talk about healthy things and we always like to work out and eat right. And Rob has a health issue that just came to light um, that he's going to have to have um, surgery on Friday. So if you can keep him in your thoughts and prayers, that would be great. And he will explain more. Good morning. Um, about a month ago, I woke up with um, some blood in my urine. Yeah, the first time that it ever happened. So I went to stat care and an urgent care facility, got it checked out. They did a urine analysis and discovered there was no infection. And so the doctor there thought I probably was passing a stone, uh, although I was in no pain, and then referred me to my family physician. The family physician then uh, referred me to a urologist because after a second culture, again, uh, no infection, nothing. So I uh, went to a urologist who um, said, hey, even though you can't see blood in your urine anymore, uh, microscopically, there's still some there. So he ordered a CT scan. So after the CT scan um, came back, the results came back, met with the doctor, and uh, they found a mass attached to one of my kidneys, uh, my right kidney. And uh, so, course of action is to, we got to get it out of there and so this uh, this Friday uh, we're gonna go in and we're gonna take that mass out um, may have to take the kidney with it um, and so I'm very grateful that uh, our Lord gave us two because you can function normally um, with just one kidney one kidney can do 80% of what two kidneys can do so I would highly recommend that um, if anything is going on with your body anything out of the norm that you just go in and get it checked out uh, I'm very blessed that um, this particular mass uh, we caught it early enough that it was localized it's uh, in one spot it hasn't spread and if we had waited there's no telling what could have happened so do yourself a favor and go get checked out regardless of how small uh, it may seem. I'm alive and well. Um, it was a quick, quick, quick procedure. Um, painless. I didn't even know it was happening because they put me out with happy juice, which was really good. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you for all the kind messages that you've been sending, not only for me, but for Rob. Um, yeah. I did forget to mention that the project that I wanted to share with you kind of failed, but I'm going to tweak it and hopefully I can get it um, to work. And as soon as I get that, I will share it with you. It's super cute. My sister and I will tag her here has said, oh, I'm making you something for your birthday, but I didn't know what to expect um, and it just got dropped off tonight. I cannot tell you how much this means to me. She stenciled this sign for us, the Woods and Ivy Cottage. If you guys don't know what that is, I will link that post here. But she stenciled this on a board that was from an old table. And she does her thing where she stencils it with um, a stencil and then she takes a marker and kind of accents along the side. I 
I saw that she had done this on a name sign that she made for herself and um, I believe that she has it in a highlight. So if you want to go check out how she does it, I think she explains it really well.